Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Aris and welcome back to my channel. So I did uh, our Norm McDonald week, uh, not last week, the week before, and it turned out to be such a huge and I've got so many requests to do a lot more stuff for it. So I decided I'm going to do a couple of more videos for this week on Norm McDonald. And before we get to that, uh, uh, Dave Chappelle released his new stand-up which he actually dedicated to Norm McDonald and if you haven't checked it out please do check it out it's on Netflix and it is absolutely brilliant and I'm gonna be doing a reaction on that when we have some more videos pop up on YouTube so that's that so without any delays today I'm gonna be reacting to Norm McDonald who wrote this joke so without any delays let's get to it here we go yeah, right. well, it's time to do jokes. <laughs> this is where we put, in a, big, we put in a big thing. Jokes. Yeah. So here, you can does start. Does it slash? Does it have exclamation You can start. I do a joke very like that. Who wrote these? I'm, you got me just doing jokes. <laughs> just read a joke. Unsolicited. Is this from that joke book, that 1942? No, this is a real joke. Two businessmen bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. They are very excited with their purchase. As this is the only legal way to own black people. Now that is here, and I read that. <laughs> well, you're not there. You know how businessmen are racist. <laughs> they are. Yes, yeah, so it's them being racist. They are. You. The two, the, the two businessmen that bought the Milwaukee Bucks for five hundred fifty million dollars yeah. are racist, according oh, no, to this. Oh they're fine men. <laughs> Some gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> Well, this are was, you serious? What? Well, this was written. Are you serious? <laughs> Did you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? <laughs> no, I read it. Yes. You read that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, this Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she sure knows every dive in town. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that, was my favorite. that is a favorite. Did you write this? I didn't write that one. No. Sure, junkyard dogs are mean, but the meanest dogs are generally found guarding concentration camps. And it says here, there's a note. <laughs> Early versions of the Jim Croce's 1973 smash hit, Big Bad Leroy Brown. You remember that song? Tell people what probably said. No, do you know what you just said? Yes, it Do you have any idea what you just this read? This says... No, do you have any idea what you just read? That, that it was a junkyard dog. Semitic joke about the concentration camp. No, 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 no. Oh, Not anti-Semitic no, no, at all. No, 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 Semitic. No. Well, you, I know what the problem they is. Used, did you just, write it? I didn't write that. Who wrote it? They I, used the meanest dogs. I, I don't know who wrote it. We could knit <laughs> March Madness in the bud if we watch for the warning signs of brooding antisocial February fever. Who is writing this? What the fuck is You're wrong with this? people? This is your life. <laughs> You're putting your life on it. You dress like horseshit tonight. No, that was that no, was Adam Eve. That was Adam Eve's fault. I told you to bring a horse coat. But that you was Adam Eve's fault. You got a, a thing with a hood. But that was Adam Eve's fault. But then you're reading these. I think, this I think is you. Oh, oh my God Almighty! I'm not part of this. No, it was written no, before. No, I'm not part of this. No, you can't read that. <laughs> you know my clothes, Larry, make me look slimmer. But uh, they did not fool that flight of stairs that collapsed under my astonishing new girth. <laughs> who, get, who writes these? Uh, I'm no, where, they, where do they come from? <laughs> a man in Chipata allowed a hyena to eat his penis after being told by a witch doctor that would help him become rich. Is it me or does it sound like that hyena and witch doctor were in cahoots? <laughs> I think maybe they were in cahoots. See, who writes these? Huh? We should have this person locked up and looked at, or at least looked at. A 28-year-old med student is auctioning off his virginity online. For $300,000, you can have the worst sex of your life. <laughs> That's good. That ain't That's bad. Good. That ain't who bad. Writes yeah. Oh, well. How about this one? I know who writes them. You know who writes them? Prison. Men in prison. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's get back to Tom. He wrote all these normal. They're very good, man. They're <laughs> fucked you up, but very good. <laughs> Music is the universal language, but one day soon it will be replaced by Chinese. 
right. Yeah. Hey, we got some jokes. All right, all right but that's all right. But you know, are these street jokes? Uh, no, 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 no. So you wrote they're them? Not, they're not. Someone wrote them. Some of them wrote that you know. Yeah, okay, some good. people in this okay, room. Okay, cool. Some people in this Thank room. Thank you. I don't want to say who because in case the joke doesn't work. Okay, all right. Boy, was it hot outside today. I went out to buy a California Pizza Kitchen signature pepperoni frozen flatbread, and by the time I got home, it was perfectly perfectly cooked and entirely eaten. 100% true. Oh, yeah, you ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. I love it. I just couldn't do it, man. Some of them are odd. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a joke. Well, some of the, I think technically. Like an observation joke? <laughs> Las Vegas is now home to a 550-foot-tall Ferris wheel. Also drawing thousands to Las Vegas? Whores. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you. That's your voice all the way right there. <laughs> the old, You're the Nora McDonald lean in. Whores. Uh, uh, all right, listen, man. A lot of people talk about masturbating to the Sears catalog when they were younger, you know? Uh-huh, yes. I've looked through them. You know, because of nowadays yes. with the porn and everything. But I'm a lot older than that. Uh, back in my days, you actually had to go to this, a Sears store and fucking whack off. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love mannequins. That doesn't make sense because Sears know? started as a catalog. It did? Yeah. Sears, the oh, you're story. right. You're yeah, right. That, that didn't make sense. Did you write that one? Uh, well, you're right, though. Because you know what? They used it in old it? outhouses. <laughs> they would use the Sears catalog as a toilet paper. Toilet paper. Mm. Since toilet paper was so thin, probably. Hey, a cowboy at a rodeo in Georgia used his lasso to apprehend a gunman. At least this is according to a recent segment of America's hottest new game show. Georgia police blotter or episode synopsis from Walker, Texas Ranger. It's a long time. I line. know. Too long. It wasn't beaded out properly. Where did these come from? Hey, All My Children star Matthew Cowles. You ever watch All My Children? Sure. Well, uh, All My Children star Matthew Cowles has died at the age of 69. Oh. Or has he? Oh. <laughs> it's a, what is All My Children called? Uh, huh? It's called a soap, soap opera. opera. Yes. All my yeah. children have not been that. Where, where do you get these jokes? Ah, some guy. Here. A Pakistani father stoned his daughter to death for marrying a man of her own choosing, which means Pakistan's tourism board is going to have to find a new slogan to replace Come to Pakistan. Three whole days without anyone being brutally stoned to death by her own father. You like that These are Norman Collins. No, here, this is, a, this is an actual joke. <laughs> Mark, I was laughing at Mark, this is an actual joke. Right. This is an actual joke. Yeah. joke. But some real shit. The only it thing does certain in life are death, taxes, and getting caught whacking off in a Target dressing room. <laughs> Are these your tips? <laughs> <laughs> you want to read a joke? Yeah. Are these your tips? Who wrote these jokes? We don't. We can't say. I'd like to do something about a film or something. Oh, good. How do you know that fact? How do you know that fact? I was just. I'm a good cheater. Fast and Furious Six opens next week. The cast is getting a little older. It's less Fast and Furious and more like brisk and peeved. <laughs> Remember the good old days back when MILF stood for mentally ill ladies I'd like to fuck. <laughs> Do you have a writing staff? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we have Steve O'Donnell. Steve, these are really good. To stop a pit bull attacking her daughter, a Texas man bit the dog. Well, that's an interesting story. A man bites a dog. Man it's, bites not a, dog. it's not what I would call news. <laughs> man, yeah. man bites dog? Yeah. It used no. to be dog bites man, right? Yeah. Is that the joke? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get this. I don't get it. Yeah, do you, do you write these for me? <laughs> these come from the fucking YouTube. Are these in the audience? They write them. And they, do, do, did you read them? Did you write them for the audience? It's true. No. Nobody here is posing nude to the cover of Rolling Stone except for a hat Why hang off his reader. Why did you fucking carry this morning? Under? Adam Egat. Oh, is that your name? <laughs> fucking change it. <laughs> is it. And this morning, Adam woke up and said, "Hey, where's my hat?" <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I, I get it. <laughs> That's right. 
Go get it. I bet Neil Hat Patrick Harris fucking shoved his cock deep up his asshole. <laughs> huh? Oh my god. <laughs> but he probably couldn't even get it hard because look at him. So he had to like cram it in. Like you ever have to cram it in? Or no, you probably. Recent studies show fish can communicate with each other using subtle physical gestures. One of their most common messages. Let's leave this party early. I don't know. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> is that what does that mean? Uh, well, it's a, it's a subtle. It's fucking his joke. <laughs> hey, World Cup. You watch the World Cup? Oh, I'm wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm king here. <laughs> In World Cup soccer, Mexico defeated Cameroon one to nothing, or as it's known in soccer, a blowout. <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah, very low scoring games. Yeah. <laughs> Who wrote these, the enemy? Can't find a joke you like it. So, that was Noel McDonald uh, who wrote these jokes. And by the way, that my, what do you call it, predator. Action figure fell down from the heating and it broke. It literally broke. I can't believe this. And it is not mine. I nicked it from a mate of mine. But he knows I've got it. But I'm going to have to get it repaired or find a new one. Because I really did like this one. <clears throat> anyway. So that was Norm McDonald who wrote these jokes. And oh my god. I cannot believe to this day that I have not heard of any of this stuff it's surprising like these are some of like really really good jokes and some of them are really shit at the same time but they're still they're shit in a way that they still make you laugh but like who would have come up with this stuff you know what i mean they're low-key sort of things but earlier joke right at the beginning they were absolutely brilliant oh my god i really did enjoy this i really really did enjoy this and i'm gonna do more of this and if you did enjoy this as well please like subscribe and share I'll see you guys in the next video.